Right-o. Right, on today's video I thought I'd talk about uh, one of my favourite subjects, security. And to do with your caravan is um, a lot of caravans and motorhomes getting stolen over recent years and it's just getting worse. So um, I thought I'd share with you um, a few of the things that we've done, some of them, not all of them, but um, a few ideas and you may know of some yourself and please do share them with us. Oh, I'm shaking the table. Because we'd like to um, hear from you about um, new things as well. So um, in the meantime, we'll get stuck into the video. vlog and this time we're going to talk a little bit about security for your caravan or camper van and I've got a few little toys down here that I'm going to show you and um, share some ideas with you. Now these are only some of the things we use you may know of some other um, devices that you can use around your camper van caravan etc. Um, we'd love to hear from you about those ideas please do put them in the comments below um, and we'd love to share them around so they, it's always good having fresh ideas. Um, okay, well we'll get stuck into it and we'll start with the first device which I don't know what it is. We'll have to wait till the next segment to find out. I'm just going to disappear. Good boy. This one here is a wheel clamp and as you can see it's got a big disc on it which is quite good because that covers all your wheel nuts. So someone who wants to, if you've got a spare wheel on your caravan and it's parked up somewhere, um, then to use something like this, which exposes all your, all your wheels and your wheel nuts, is probably not a good idea. Um, also, I see a lot of people put these on the wrong way around. Um, they have this facing towards the back instead of towards the front. Always have this facing towards the front because when the, um, that digs into the ground, when someone tries to steal your caravan, that's going to dig in and make it real difficult for them to tow it away. But yeah, I would not use this one if you've got exposed nuts and a spare wheel on the back. Okay, moving along to the next thing. As you've probably seen quite a few of these things around. Um, and nothing wrong with them, they're pretty good to go on your, your tow hitch there, but if you were using this on its own, straight away on your tow hitch, if I was to go around here, excuse me, it might be a bit dark here, but yeah, as I thought it's quite a bit dark, but if you were to use this on your tow hitch, all they need to do is throw a bit of chain through and around the tow hitch onto the vehicle and your vehicle is gone within a matter of a few seconds so you might as well not use this at all um, in fact in some cases this may even help them take your caravan or trailer if it's used on its own these devices are pretty good oops I just tripped over something um, these devices are pretty good if they're used in conjunction with other devices. So in other words, using something like this in conjunction with something like that is a good idea. Uh, anything to slow people down. Another thing that we sometimes use, which is quite helpful, is this thing, which is a 120 decibel alarm. It's a cable, and you just wrap it around through the caravan onto something, maybe, um, I don't know, a post or even your vehicle or whatever. Um, so if they try to separate this cable or interfere with it, it's going to send off this alarm and believe you me, it's quite loud. So I prefer to use maybe more than one of these. Get yourself a couple of them. They come in all different, the cables come in different lengths from... Uh, 
2.4 meters and I think they go all the way up to about 10 meters or something like that so just work out how much you need grab yourself some of these is this thing a tracker mode and I absolutely love this thing it's very small it's tiny you can my one has a magnetic base even though I've broken a bit off but you just can slap it on inside the chassis of the caravan anywhere you like um, and it um, will tell you through an app exactly where your caravan is how fast it's been towed um, your motorhome or anything like that it'll track anything you can take the magnetic strip off it's got a felt pad there you can drop it into into um, your wife's handbag if you want to find out where she's gone <laughs> but in all honesty and it's got an SOS button in the middle and also the other two buttons you can program to listen but, but they're very very handy so all you have to do is charge them up when they've been charged as I've shown the red light comes on while it's charging it's flashing red so I'll just go out now and um, set this thing up so we'll go outside and do that Now what we have here is the tracker being charged. You can see the red light on. That means it's fully charged, ready to go. So we'll go and set this up. So just as I thought, as I'm ready to do this, the um, rain starts again. And we'll see it flashes blue there. But if I do it again, It'll change, and what I'm looking for is the green light. If I get the uh, green light to show. Oh, here's the red button. There you go. There it is. So why the red? Why that's flashing? Go outside under clear sky and just hold it up, and it should actually make a make a noise that it's found the satellite there's a noise it's found the satellite so this now is all ready to go so you can just with the magnetic thing just slap it on anything metal and away you go simple as that very good device very handy and for monitoring the website it's free for the first year and sixty dollars thereafter not bad to find out where everything is including your camper or your caravan I don't know why that's very oh there we go yeah so as I say very good device here's another here's another little tracking device this is the one that can be hot wired in the tracker mode one that I showed you also can be um, hot wired in um, you can buy various kits for the track mode but anyway there's another one all you have to do is when you get one of these um, tracking devices is in, buy yourself a sim card from from uh, a lot of places and just put the sim card into the into here and it'll give you instructions on how to set it up on your phone so that's the caravan stored of course you can always put in and wire in security cameras so you can see what's going on and um, good if you can get them that alarms you when there's been some some movement and sends you a message straight away to your cell phone so you can catch them right on the spot so that's another handy little thing and you can get them for inside and outside as well and of course uh, another idea is a camera that follows you around you see this thing following me around so that's always handy. Another thing too that um, you may want to consider is getting some vinyl stickers um, that's got your uh, registration number for the caravan and stick it up on the on the roof of the caravan. So that'll help um, if police are looking for it, they can actually see it. So um Another suggestion there. 
Well, there you go. There's some, hopefully, some helpful little hints to keep your caravan safe. And um, so you can go it a bit longer. So um, you may have thought of some things that I haven't thought of. Um, put them in the comments below. We'd love to hear about what devices you've got or what you recommend. And um, we'd love to share those. Don't forget to press the old subscribe button and the like and also the bell so then you'll be notified when we do another video. So I think that's all from me. Till next time, cheerio. Bye. Okay, I'm going now. And of course I forgot to mention one other thing with a camper or motorhome, etc. Another thing you can do is put in a little cutout switch or something like that. You can use one of these, this type, or um, there are smaller ones, uh, just to flick on and off switch. Um, so yeah, a little private cutout switch is always good to install in the vehicle. So, uh, I mean, it's no good for a caravan, but it's certainly help in a camper van or motorhome situation. Of course, another thing too is make your vehicle look like it's not roadworthy. So there's the list of a few things that, um, as I mentioned before, um, you can do to make your caravan or motorhome more secure. Um, we've done a few of these things, not all of them, as I said before, but um, and also I'm not getting paid to recommend any products or any services, etc. This is just from personal experience. So just running through the list and, and um, summarising again, um, okay, so we've got the um, the tow hooks, um, the um, yeah the tow ball locks that go inside your your hitch. Um, there's also on top of the hitch you can and some some of them you can actually put a lock going through with a key, which I also showed as well. Um, there are various types of wheel clamps. Uh, the one with the complete disc that covers the whole wheel and facing the right way to me is the better option because don't forget some caravans have a spare wheel lying around um, also we covered um, perhaps getting some vinyl stickers and putting your registration number um, in big letters and numbers on the roof of your caravan and motorhome uh, because that helps anyone looking for it can find it a bit easier for the police happen to be zooming around above uh, also, another thing is the tracker. Now, I demonstrated the check tracker mode uh, tracker. And this is the one that I use. I find it very, very um, price competitive to most of them. It's also very portable. It has a lot of features. Um, the website app, so you can follow the where your caravan is, it is very good and very very accurate i can get it within to about a couple of millimeters just about where it is um i mean um, meters i should say um so yeah a very good device with and it's the fact that it's got sos buttons and programmable buttons on it that you can actually uh, listen to what's going on and um it can come with its own battery or you can have it um fully wired in that's another great feature so that's the tracker mode. Um, I'm also going to put in another tracker just to compare, but I have yet to find one that actually comes near it, but we'll see, there's bound to be others. Um, another thing I also would like to share with you is um, because the caravans and motorhomes are getting stolen, is the fact that there is a very good Facebook um, group um, going around it's called stolen caravans in new zealand and i'm pretty sure you can put your camper van and motorhome in in that as well but a lady robin she runs that um, facebook group and you can upload photos of your caravan and any details onto that site um, on facebook and um, you can also help others to find theirs and it's been very very successful there's been a, a lot of caravans that have actually been found and, and camper vans that have been found through uh, social media and social media is very very helpful in that respect so bear that in mind as well 
So there you go, just a few pointers on security for your caravan or camper. And if, as I say, if there's anything else, put it in the comments below, because I'd love to hear about it. Um, so also don't forget to hit the old subscribe button, which should be down below there with the bell as well. Click on the bell so you can get updates on any other things I happen to mention along the way. Uh, we're going to be covering some amazing little gadgets to do with camping coming up soon um, and these will um, perhaps blow your mind it certainly makes my life camping very very easy um, so that look out for that one and also we'll be visiting a few other places along the way soon so um, in the meantime happy camping happy adventures and we'll catch you here on the next vlog bye for now